Imagine being in a foreign country that you don't speak the language and your wallet was just stolen. Now you have no money, no friends, no lifeline. A situation that I have heard horror stories of in hostels before, but never experienced for myself. Until now. In today's video, I will be left to fend for myself for 24 hours in the streets of Paris with no money, relying on the kindness of strangers to help me survive by supplying me food, hopefully a place to sleep. The grass is a very good idea for sleeping. If we're lucky, a truly authentic Parisian experience. All right, it is 9 a.m. and we are out and about. First move, we gotta find some breakfast. I am hungry. We just checked out of the Marriott and there's a Hyatt across the street that I'm gonna try to sneak some free breakfast from. Let's see if it works. Mission successful. We successfully snuck into the Hyatt free breakfast. It's currently 10 a.m., so I'd say we're off to a good start, being only one hour into the challenge. Now I'm well fed. I also snuck out a few pastries and a napkin in case we get hungry later. Unfortunately, I really could not film that much inside. There was a lot of security, and sneaking in was hard enough without drawing a lot of attention to myself. But now it's time for us to game plan what we're going to do for the rest of the day. I'd say it's never too early to start looking into where we're going to sleep and try to meet some strangers to help us out. I'm thinking we'll try to sneak onto the bus and head toward the Eiffel Tower. And this time I should be able to film a little bit more. Quick question, do you speak English? Yes. Yeah. All right, perfect. So I'm on a challenge right now to try to survive 24 hours in Paris with no money. Would you guys by chance be willing to buy me lunch, like the cheapest thing we could find, or have a spare couch I could crash on tonight? Uh, <laughs> so we're on vacation, we're actually moving forward. Uh, all right, thank you anyway. Would you by chance have an extra couch I could crash on, or be willing to buy me the cheapest thing for lunch? Like what, by like, what type of lunch? Whatever the cheapest thing is. I mean, maybe like a crepe from one of the stands, or? Oh, I don't know, really. I'm on a budget myself. Totally understand. I don't, and we're leaving. I saw you're taking some pictures. Would you by chance be willing to buy me lunch if I was your professional photographer for a little bit? I'm oh, sorry, I'm on a really tight schedule. Uh, all right. I'm so sorry. Would you be willing to buy me lunch by chance? I'm relying on the kindness of strength. If I don't have money? Then I say thank you for your time and we move on. <laughs> I say like you, like you. I can work with you. Oh, you're living life like me too? <laughs> so I'm on a challenge to yeah. try to live 24 hours yeah. in Paris with no money. Okay. Would you by any chance be willing to buy me lunch at one of these little shacks, whatever the cheapest thing is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if, if not, if you're on a budget, I totally yeah, understand. I all right. I'm on a challenge right now to try to survive 24 hours in Paris with no money. Okay. Would you guys be, any of you be willing to by chance buy me lunch, whatever the cheapest thing is, at the little shack? Um, sure, do you want a crepe? Yes? I would love a crepe, thank you. What's your name? Farah. Farah, nice to meet you. And where are you guys from? Uh, New York. New York. <laughs> Mercy! <laughs> I got the Nutella one, yes. Well, thank you. It was lovely meeting you. Stay safe. First success of the day. We got ourselves a crepe from Farah. She was super nice. They were from New York. And now my hopes are looking a little better. Um, I was starting to question how possible this would be. But one crepe in, we've got lunch. I'd say we're off to a pretty great start. It's currently 12.30, and as you guys just saw, Farah bought us this crepe for lunch, which I am super grateful for. That means we've got our breakfast and lunch down all ready. Now all we have to do is find dinner and a place to sleep, which I think is going to be the hardest thing to do. Wish me luck. I'm gonna hang out in front of the Eiffel Tower and enjoy this crepe, and then we'll start to try to figure out where we're gonna sleep. 
just finished up lunch and I noticed the Eiffel Tower has free Wi-Fi. So we're gonna take the Tinder and try to find us a place to sleep tonight. Let's get to swiping. Two matches already? All right, we're on a roll. Let's get a couple lined up and then we'll send out some messages. All right, we just finished messaging some matches. Hopefully one of them is going to work out, but I'm not gonna count on that. We're gonna head over to the Louvre now and hopefully we can meet someone who's got an extra couch we can crash on tonight. I'm on a challenge right now to try to survive 24 hours in Paris with no money. I was wondering, it is. Uh, so far I've got breakfast and lunch though. And I was wondering, is there any way you have a spare couch or spare spot on the floor that I could sleep on tonight? No. Nope. All right, well, thank you anyway. Would you by any chance have an extra couch or floor that I could crash on? Actually, I'm leaving my girlfriend and she won't ever allow me to get anyone on that place. So. All right, well, thank you Sorry. anyway. I was wondering, do any of you by chance have an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on tonight? Nope. Here. Here. All right, well, thank you. Would you by chance have an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on tonight? Do I look like to have anything on me? I don't know, I thought maybe, <laughs> you know, I'm not picky if it's a floor or something, but. Uh, ah, you know, to spend to, the night. Yeah, to sleep. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I'm not living in Paris, actually. I'm just here for uh, lunch. Ah. Uh, yeah, I saw friends of mine and I'm just going to go back to my home. But it's not in Paris, uh, it's a bit far in the evening. All right, well, thank you very much anyway. I really thought that one was gonna work, but apparently he does not live in the city. Back to searching. So I'm currently on a challenge to try to survive 24 hours in Paris with no money. Would Good luck. Uh, you're, All right, well, I'll walk with you. Do you by chance have an extra couch or floor that I could crash on? I live here. Uh, I'm, I'm from Germany. So I'm on a challenge right now to try to survive 24 hours in Paris with no money. Would any of you by chance have an extra floor or couch that I could sleep on tonight? Oh, I'm sorry, but uh, I'm not gonna at my house. Oh, all right, no worries. I'm not from Paris. You already took their extra couch, so <laughs> Th thank you anyway. <laughs> All right, it's currently 3 p.m. I feel like I've probably asked about 100 people already for a place to sleep. Everywhere has said no, but I probably have about five hours left of daylight and then it'll probably get a lot harder. So I gotta keep asking and hopefully someone will pull through. Is there any chance either of you have an extra couch or floor that I could oh, sleep on tonight? Sorry, I, sorry I, work, I work at night so you cannot sleep at my place. It's definitely a little more challenging than I expected, but all we need is one yes in order to make this challenge a success. And once it gets dark, it's definitely going to be a lot harder. So let's keep asking. Would either of you by any chance have an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on? All right. Our hotel room is very small. Uh, all right. Well, thank you anyway. Hey, good luck. Ciao. Do either of you, by any chance, have an extra couch or like a floor even <laughs> that I could just sleep on for the night? Not really. No. Uh, all right. Sorry. Well. We're like actually looking for a place ourselves. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, uh, tonight, <laughs> you could join. We could walk around in a group of three. Okay. Do you guys, by chance, have an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on tonight? And unfortunately, um, my no. room is teeny tiny. I'm sorry. All right. Th thank you anyway. Where are you from? Israel. from? Israel. Israel. All right. Your English was, I thought it was American, to be honest. He's from Arizona. Oh, Phoenix? Yeah, Scottsdale. Yeah. I grew up in Scottsdale. Really? Where? Uh, over near like Desert Mountain High School. I went to Desert Mountain High School. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Small world. Do either of you by chance have an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on tonight? Well, we, we are done. So we, we are, are visiting. also visiting here. I'm looking for a very specific demographic. If the group of people's too big, I think they'll say no. If it's a couple, they'll probably say no. So I'm either looking for single people together. Quick question for all five of you. I know you guys probably all just met, but I'm on a challenge right now, yeah. and I'm trying to survive 24 hours in Paris with no money. 
It's perfect. That's perfect. Do any of you by chance have an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on tonight? No. No. All right. Well, thank you anyway. It's uh, if I ask enough. I think the grass is a very good idea for sleeping. The, the grass? Yeah. Would you guys by chance have an extra floor or couch that I could sleep on? Not the right people. Well, I'm doubtful this is going to work, but at this point, anything could happen. We're going to try to just ask a hostel if we could stay for free. We'll see. Is there any chance you have an extra couch or a floor that I could sleep on? This is not the point. I'm not living in my house. Ah, uh, all right. Well, I would help you very, very willingly. Uh, I can <laughs> Thank you anyway. No problem. <laughs> Bonjour. Could I ask you a quick question? Yeah. Is there any chance you have an extra couch or bed or floor? I'm in Paris. I'm sorry, I might have friends. Ah, all right. I've been here for a week, but. All right. I would have helped, helped you, but. We're waiting on the light. So I'm trying to do a challenge right now where I survive in Paris for 24 hours with no money. Oh. And I was wondering, do either of you by chance have an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on tonight? No, <laughs> no. we are not in Paris this weekend. Good challenge. Would you by chance have an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on tonight? <laughs> well, actually I'm kind of here on vacation as well. Mm. And I'm staying at a friend's house. Got so, it. no. But, um, I kind of did a similar thing with a road trip where I basically had no money <laughs> to survive. So, I wish you the best of luck. Try, uh, on, um, I don't know the word in English, but uh, you know, there is some uh, house for young people. The hostels? Yeah. yeah. It's a kind of old stuff, but uh, you can ask uh, to a group of people mm. to sleep together. If they have a bed, uh, Couch surfing. Point. Yes. We have not had a whole lot of luck just walking up to people and asking, as I'm sure you've seen. But a couple people have told me I should get on couch surfing, which I made an account in the past, but I never actually set it up. So I just sat down on this curb for the past 30 minutes or so, finished my profile, and now I'm reaching out to a couple different hosts, and hopefully one will get back to us with a place to stay. But once I message a handful, we're gonna head back out and start asking some strangers. This was my first time trying that. I just sent a few messages to some potential hosts. And now we're gonna head over to Notre Dame and start asking some more strangers. Hopefully something works out. Otherwise, I will be sleeping on the street. Excuse me. Yeah. Could I ask you a quick question? Uh, in English? Yeah. I'm not sure. We can test if you want, but- We'll, we'll try. Uh, so I'm on a challenge right now to survive in Paris for 24 hours with no money. And I was wondering, do you by chance have an extra couch or floor to sleep on tonight? <laughs> I'm relying on the kindness of strangers. To <laughs> I'm living in about 30 kilometers. 30 kilometers? So if you want to come. Maybe not now, but at 11 maybe? Yeah, could, listen, could, could I grab your number real quick? What was your name? Adrian. Adrian, nice to meet you. Where are you from? I'm from Arizona. Here, do you want to type it in? Is there a bus or a metro that I can sneak uh, on to get there? You know, RER. Air what? Um, it's, like the, um, it's like the subway, but yep. outside Paris. Oh, yes. How the do you call that thing? R-E-R. R-E-R. Yep. That's it. That would be amazing, because I've probably asked about 200 people today, and you're, really? the you're the first one that said yes. You know what? In France, we have um, a TV show like that. A man is going in old countries, mm -hmm. asking people to sleep with them, to live with them. No, well, I will text you right now then. That way you have my number. Yeah. My name was Kyle, by the way. All right. And I'll a message to, to give you the address and everything. Yes, uh, this one's you, right? Exactly. Perfect. Thank you so much. And I'll find a way to sneak on the metro. So. Yay, no, I, I give, so okay. Yes. I'll give you everything. And uh, maybe around 11. It's okay for you? Around 11 works perfect. Thank you. you. Ciao. <laughs> no way that just worked. All right, my luck might be turning around. I was just about to give up, but Adrian is coming in clutch. 
He said that around 11, I may be able to join him. He lives about 30 kilometers away though, so I'll have to sneak on a metro to get there. In the meantime, we're gonna look for a backup plan because if this falls through and it's 11 p.m. and I'm stranded on the street, that is not gonna be fun. Is there any chance one of you guys has an extra couch or floor that I could sleep on tonight? We are not going to uh, where we live, but uh, in, uh, uh, with a friend. All right, change of plans. Adrian just texted me again. He offered to get me a drink at this bar that him and some friends are grabbing drinks at. We're gonna reroute and go meet him there. It's about 10, 15 minutes away. So I'll see you guys there. Hello. Hello. Lovely to meet you again. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm the crazy guy he told you about. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to join. There's something different about the way we are. Uh, uh. I'm here with Adrian, and we're we just finished up grabbing some drinks, and I think now we're gonna go grab some dinner. That's it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> After our lovely three course dinner, it was getting late, so it was time to head back to Adrian's place to sleep for the night. Unfortunately, he did not have any space on his motorcycle, but when I told the Metro representative my wallet was stolen, he gave me a free one-way ticket. Thank you, you two, for giving me this lovely place to stay. I am so grateful, but... Yes, I am very tired. I'm sure you guys are very tired as well. Yes, we are. I uh, think we're all going to go to sleep, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it is 9.30 a.m., which successfully marks 24 hours with no money. I would say that is a very successful challenge. I do want to thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to get packed up real quick, take a shower, and head to the airport to catch our next flight. In today's world, it can be easy to focus on always getting the newest tech, latest styles, or hearing the juiciest gossip. But when you take all that away and just focus on the fundamentals of life, food to eat, a place to sleep, it can really simplify things. This challenge opened up my eyes to the kindness of strangers and how our natural human instinct is to help other people. This was one of my craziest adventures to date. In 24 hours, I will never forget. If you guys want me to make this a series in different cities I travel to, definitely let me know down in the comments below. And smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of the action. I will see you guys next week.